justice, respect? Is it something that you deserve? What have you done to deserve that respect? Have you ever stand up? Have you ever place yourself in others' position? Have you ever speak up for once how those can defend themselves in Once without a voice. Once I cannot speak your language. Have you ever stand up for your dog or cat who was abused when you were a child? If that yes. Have you ever stand up for another species? Why do you still consume some other species? If you are not vegan, realize this, you are an hypocrite. I know you don't like to hear that, because people are not to hear good things about our bad habits. And there seems to be an irrational desire of being always the hero in their own story. I don't know if it you, but that's not in what I see But here is something, you don't have to eat it. And the moment I realized that, I stopped eating them, because I also was bullied. So I know on school how it feels to be bullied and be treated like a loser. Even some of my teachers were doing that, calling me stupid, even I was not stupid. Toen was uh, just different. I did learn in a totally different way than my other school. Right? The way I learn is taking the complete stuff and absorbing it in once. I don't work good with step by step. I need to have the whole project and then I fix it myself. I don't need to be fed in small pieces of information. That's not how my brain works. I can learn you. So I can learn you some things about sympathy. First, sympathy should only be reserved for the ones who are oppressed. Never for oppressors. Because? Why? Now, one single social bond, armed with nothing more than a knife, can easily exterminate a whole city full with people who are taking the pacifist or the non resistance or just how you want to call that position. Nothing more than life. I said, just like I said. And that's the problem with pacifism. When you. Anyone's enemies have no scruples. Your own scruples become a weapon in their hands. Violence is also not always the option. But that's the same with pacifism. And that society or the law does not think that something is right. It does not mean that the law is right. Laws have always been broken, and breaking one shall not be. If you ask me, in all cases, a crime, if the law is unjust, you should not be punished for breaking that law. You should give a medal for breaking that law, if you ask me. Because then, you show the judges that their system was not perfect and then, you, and then they can improve. So you actually do a service by putting out 
it just laws and breaking them. Do I advocate breaking laws there and huh? No, but I advocate for laws, for breaking laws that are unjust and not being punished for it. Laws like Egg's laws, for example, are terrible, evil, and totally made up to protect um, factory farmers, or must I say, like I prefer to call them, modern slave owners. Those animals are confined in spaces that are not suitable for their optimal health, even in the highest welfare facilities or camps or facilities. Also, if you think about a pretty weird and psychotic way, it sounds a little bit like a prison, mate. Ah, we did it. Dairy farm is a kind of concentration camp, prison, like set in the nano very weird prison because cows are often confined with their neck so that they don't can move there have you ever seen want you to be in such a prison such sounds and see it's pretty much like a horror show maybe I should put some farmers in those Rags, so that I can experience how it feels. My name is Grandpa Safer. I'm not a pacifist. I am not a politician. I'm a philosopher, an animal rights activist, an environmentalist, and my motto is you. Have the right to destroy your own health, but you have not the right to, in order to destroy your own health, destroy the lives of others. And that's where I come in, because I am the ethics police. Tell me in the comments how you want that I'm gonna to roast and an environmentalist activist uh, slash animal rights activist slash moral philosophy way and next time in my video which kind of low life high and successful youtuber you want that I break down humiliate and laughing crying to his Mother, for next time. When darkness and light become one, the reality is sprinted away and the truth become visible.